Y'all know what time it is, and it's time to get back into Persona 5 Royal. I'm your guy, Ninja Kill 74, and let's get back into the mix. We're going to start by talking with Miss Student Council President here. And the last one... In the last one, we... What the hell did we do in the last one? Oh, yeah, we learned that we got uh, scammed by a fortune teller. Because, of course, we did. We also learned that Kawakami was being extorted, and we got, like, a thing for her. And we got the speed reading book and everything. So this will be the last recording before we go through Mementos, so let's get into it. I did it again. Hi, Makoto. How are you? Alright. We have Isis. So, let's hang out with Makoto. It feels like I just don't know anything anymore. Um, let's talk more inside. I swear my voice for Makoto changes every time I talk I, I talk as her, because I don't have, like, a good grasp on, on try to make an inflection, or, like, her vocal inflection. So, my class had a practice entrance exam, and my score was significantly lower than last time. I'm concerned. How low is significantly lower? Aren't you like a like an A student? So, like, significantly lower for you could be like an 80, which is still passing. That's a B. Uh, that's unlike you. I couldn't agree more. The truth is, recently I've started questioning the entire point of my education. <laughs> oh, I've been there before! What do I stand to gain from getting good grades and living up to the high expectations my sister set for me? Told you. I spoke to Eiko about this matter as well, but the answer hasn't become any clearer. Eiko? Hmm? You don't remember? Eiko Takao. We asked her about the job she has at the salon in Shinjuku. Anyway, we've been calling each other every so often since we exchanged contact information. Because of those calls, we'd be actually grown somewhat close. When I voiced my concerns to her, she asked me how I would benefit from going to a top university. Uh, but I couldn't come up with a good answer. As for Eiko, her grades are not the best, but she claims she doesn't even think about that stuff. Apparently, her parents can use their connections to find her a job. Also, she has privilege. Hmm. But this isn't... Isn't that a little irresponsible? It's nice she can rely on her parents, but this is her life, not theirs. I guess that's just a different way of approaching things. Even at that, uh, her vision of the future is still clearer than mine. Uh... Yeah, what do you mean? I used to think doing what others expected of me was the best way forward. I was going to major in law just like my sister did. And after that, I would simply have headed down whatever path society had made for me. But... Everything changed when I joined the Phantom Thieves. I realize now that there are more important things in life than being a prim and proper honor student. Honestly, I would have looked down on Eiko's line of thinking in the past, but I know better now. Oh, the hotline blinging right now. <laughs> she must have known I was talking about her. Lately, Aiko's been telling me whenever she buys makeup or finds a cute new outfit. Oh, that's your homie. That reminds me when uh, she asked me the other day what hand cream I use. I sent her a picture, and it's apparently the same brand they use in the nurse's office at school. <laughs> Why do you use it? Yes. That stuff works wonders for dry skin, and it's great value, too. Do you need any help applying it? Actually, no, bad. It's hand cream, dog. Come on, it's, it's hand cream. My father used to use it all the time. Look, see? There's nothing bad with that. Did I ever tell you he was a police officer? And this is where people who don't know shit about this game would have got pissed at Makoto because, you know, you know, you know ACAB and all that, but her her cop or her, her cop dad. Yeah, her cop dad. He doesn't seem like he was a bad dude at all, so he detested the corruption in our society and worked tirelessly to bring it to justice. That boy was trying to fix the system from within. But despite the rough exterior, he was extremely gentle deep down. That reminds me. When I was little, I told him I wanted to grow up to be a police officer just like he was. And this is what also got people to call her a bootlicker, but she's quite literally a member of the Phantom Thieves. That makes no sense. That makes zero sense. Because if she was a bootlicker, she wouldn't she would try to turn us in. He was glad to hear me say that, but quick to point out that he didn't want me doing anything so dangerous. I had completely forgotten about that dream, to be honest. 
<laughs> like a woman in uniform. Now nah, it's an amazing goal. I mean, oh yeah, that did happen in the last part. That's right. We are on fuckboy season. We told on a hey, we the one for her, and we gonna tell every single girl in this game that too. I suppose. Either way, after everything that happened, I have no intention of working with the police. Besides, they're trying to stop the fan of these. What am I supposed to do? Arrest myself? Look, she said exactly what I was just saying. Hmm. I think I need to re-examine what my goals are for the future. Outside of just plain studying. Thank you very much. You know, it feels like I remember something important today, thanks to you. I guess you could say my viewpoint has been broadened yet again. Yeah. Break up. What's this for? What, bro? And she can do follow-up attacks now. All right. All right, you can skip through all that. Hey. When I met Eiko, I realized how narrow my point of view, uh, or, my, or what well, my viewpoint really was. That I mean, it's the same thing. I only just recently learned that a chemise is now called a camisole, and a button-down sweater is a card. The only thing I know of what you just said is a cardigan. I don't know what that other shit is. Why does the same thing have to have multiple names? It's the same thing? Man, that's fucking stupid. Alright, you know, I'm with you. I guess in the end I'm just becoming more aware of how li little I really know. Now I ain't know that shit either. So please, help me keep fighting back against that ignorance. I'll see you later. Alright, dose. Oh, would you look who we're talking to next? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, to do this next rank, you need a charm level of three and a knowledge level of three. Do we have a crossword puzzle here? And we do not. Because what we gotta do now, we gotta go to Kichijoji. No, we want, oh, that's Shinjuku. We gotta go to Kichijoji. And we're gonna go to the darts and billiard place. Now, why are we going to the darts and billiard place, you're asking? It's not to go there, it's to talk to somebody out here. Hello, Mr. Detective, how are you? Hi. Hey, I'm Amiya-kun, good evening. There's actually a prolific cafe right over there. Uh-oh. I think I know which one this is. <laughs> I was hoping we'd discuss some things over tea, but unfortunately my television appearance has earned me the attention of a rather extreme fan base. Oh, you got fangirls, huh? As far as they are concerned, anyone in my company must meet their standards of intelligence and attractiveness. If not, well, they take, to, uh, take it to social media, denouncing and harassing the people in question. I wouldn't wish that on you. Alright. But you, I guess you'll pass muster easily. Principality! Alright, let's go. Thanks, the place is quite popular, really. What's up? That's kind of sus. Did he just basically, did he just basically call Joker attractive? I mean, maybe, I don't know. It should be open right now. Let's get going. I'm gonna walk around. Let me know when you're ready to leave. Alright, you have fun with that. Hey, what the hell is this cat doing throwing darts? <laughs> and the cake here is fairly popular. I've been wanting to try it myself. Uh... Oh, I guess I would really want to. Got a sweet tooth, huh? Well, I don't hate sweets, but I'm not exactly partial to them. Fats tend to be fairly similar, so I'm more curious about its popularity than its taste. Well, why don't we give it a try? Mm, it was, was delicious. Nice. Oh, well, it was delicious after all. I actually enjoyed that more than I thought I would. Hey, look! Isn't that him? Ooh, you mean the guy who's on TV these days? Who was he again? Wasn't his name Akechi-kun? You know, the next generation detective prince? Should we ask him for an autograph? Might be something worth bragging about. Uh-oh, well, looks like I've been spotted. Should have figured. She's just here for the cake, I'm guessing. I'm sure she doesn't mean any harm, but I don't want to cause any trouble for the store. Huh? Is someone important here? Oh, <clears throat> oh the dude. Well, whoops. Who is it? <gasps> is it a celebrity? Looks like I'm out of time. I wish I could have relaxed a little longer, though. We should go. Why the rush? Hmm. Sorry, but I think it'd be best to leave. I'm only going to cause problems if I stay. 
A shame I don't have glasses like you. Maybe I should have been able to get out of the situation. Come here a sec. <laughs> uh, hold on a moment. Uh, hey, wh what are you? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he's back. This time I'll get his autograph for. <laughs> hey, is that boy really a catchy cool neighbor? I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Their faces, bro. You know, now that I see him up close, I'm not sure. Maybe you were seeing things. I don't remember the show too well, but I'm sure he didn't look like that. Oh, if he was the real thing, I would have bragged about meeting him. <laughs> Why is he silent? Fucking portrait. I can't believe you actually did that. I suppose it'd be better to watch what I say around you. I should have taken a picture. <laughs> Are you familiar with the legal right of portrait, or privacy perhaps? Still, there's no knowing how things may go unless you give it a try, hmm? Thank you. I think I've learned a valuable lesson. Thank you. Frank up! Level 3. All right. Looks like our coffee's gone cold. Why don't we order new ones? I'll see you next time. Hello, it's a shame our discussion was interrupted today. I was rather enjoying having a breather with you. But you certainly surprised me today. Oh my god. I can't believe we got out of that <laughs> with such a basic trick. It was an interesting experience, but I definitely don't want to go through that ordeal ever again. I saw firsthand what happens when I'm too careless with my words around you. Wasn't it fun? You have a twisted concept of fun. Though if you dressed as me next time, I think I might agree. I could use a stunt double. You and I aren't terribly different in height. I'm sure my clothes would fit you. If we do this, it'll have to be carefully planned, of course. I'll be dictating everything, from hair to accessories. Nobody would notice the switch, I'm sure. We proved it today. Most people can't see beyond the superficial. Oh, whoops, uh, I have an uh, early start tomorrow, so you have to excuse me. See, uh, see you soon. Bruh, now I want to see him disguised as a catchy. Oh. <sighs> Who the hell could that be? Um... Hey, let's go somewhere tomorrow. Really been wanting to, you know, I've been busy lately, so I want to be able to at least relax on Sunday. Where would be a good place to go? I want to try to go fishing in Ichigaya Pond. Uh, sure, let's go. Ooh, I got a bite. I hope this other fish will bite this easily. Let's meet in Shinjuku tomorrow, then. Night. Ichigaya. Oh, uh, we're going fishing with Ryuji tomorrow. All right. Oh, I should tell you, the Algiro for tomorrow is kindness. What? Right. Sunday! Hey. So, I was thinking about the future with you as the leader and me as your right-hand man. Who the hell said you were my right-hand man? <laughs> Hey, doesn't mean that place like this look like we're talking some shady business? I like it. Well, we're sitting on these milk crates, so... It, oh god, we're sitting on milk crates. <laughs> Hashtag takes off. I got banned. <laughs> Wait, what, really? Yeah, because people were getting hurt. Like, we're regular high school students during the day, but at night, you know what I mean? Man, this is getting me pumped up. Man, the fish ain't biting. The float hasn't moved at all. If only there was a master fisher around, then we could steal their ideas. Whoa! Whoa, what's Kawaka- That's Kamakami, isn't it? What's she doing here? Oh crap, she's coming this way! Jeez. Two boys at the fishing pond on a Sunday, huh? Why are you sitting around like old men? 
Why don't you go out and do something more exciting? What? Hey, look who's talking! <sighs> Adults need time to themselves to unwind and clear their thoughts. Hey, listen. I'll put this thought out here, right? So y'all know how, at least if you're age like me, I'm, I'm 23, I'll put that out there. If you're age like me, there's people our age, if you know, if you're around my age group, you see people who are teachers now, right? And you gotta think, when we were younger, right? Were there teachers out there going out drinking and, you know, and having fun and stuff like that, and then the next morning they were at school teaching with a hangover, but we just didn't know it? Because you see our peers do that now. So, like, I, I wonder, how many teachers be just be going out drinking and doing whatever, and then they come to school the next day, like, nothing happened? You'll understand soon enough when you start working in the real world. Wow. Sounding real old there, Kawakami. I mean, I she can't be no older than, than like, 30. That's Miss Kawakami to you. For real? Oh, he said it! Holy crap, Kawakami could be our Master Fisher, Ren. She's hooking, uh, uh fish like crazy. Pause? No. I hear pimping fish, that's crazy. Bruh. It's easy. Just clear your mind and free yourself from negative thoughts. What the hell was that? Oh, it was a YouTube notification. So the trick is to not think. How am I supposed to do that? I mean... You don't do that much anyway, Ryuji. Uh... Let go of all worldly desires. Yeah, sure. I see. So if I tell myself I don't want any fish... Nope! Not gonna work. I'm gonna ask for tips because I want to get fish. Ugh. It's a nice sunny Sunday. I didn't think I'd be stuck fishing with you two on my day off. Uh, two troublemakers and they're no good teacher. I guess we're perfect for each other. Whoa. She keeps getting fish even as she nags. I'm impressed. She is the true master fisher. What's wrong with that? Well, you're blushing. Look at you. Are you happy? Once again, it's Miss Kawakami. Wanna head back? I uh, didn't think I'd see something like that today. Let's we'll head back. And well, I mean, for some people with their playthroughs, it's not gonna be Miss Kawakami when they're done with her. Well, then. Anyways. Speaking of adults that we can hang out with. Where is the station? There is Station Square. There's a dude playing guitar down here. Young rocker. Bad men in Shibuya blackmailing people. Can't trust anyone in this world of ours. That's why I poured my soul into this song to help restore our hope. I give you Lullaby of Ruin. Inside a ball of dirty pills, a temper. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna do that shit. <laughs> uh, Scepter dances in the dark, ready for a crazy party, baby. A night of greed covered in money, 10% interest every 10 days. Be sure to spend it wisely. The power within! Yeah! Thank you. Thank you so much. How was the live performance? You need more practice, asshole! Put in more practice. Watch me become a rock star. If I come out here next time to talk to Yoshida like I'm about to do and I see you again, that means that you didn't put in the work. I'm gonna hold you to that. Anyways, let's go talk to my boy Tora. Everyone. Many of you suffer greatly from this distorted world of disparity. Please know that you can direct your criticism and outrage at me! I, Tora Nosuke Yoshida, will someday find a way to address your concerns at Nagatacho. Good evening. Oh, I'm Amiya-kun. How's your schoolwork? Excellent. What goes it with you? Could I have some of your time today? You can consider this a formal request. I have something scheduled after my speech, and I need you to come with me. Yeah, sure. Let's say we head on over. We'll be meeting someone after this at a sushi restaurant. I appreciate your help. We're going to Ginza. All right. The sushi bar. Sushi bar! However, the government's overall approval rating is dangerously low. Yes. 
I'll be sure to proceed with caution. Considering that the grandson of my former teacher is showing me such kindness. Yeah, well, I'd like to discuss a personal matter. Allow me to be frank. Mmm, damn, this shit's good. I will be running for my grandfather's seat in the coming election. I see. Congratulations. I had a lower level position in the uh, party's executive office, but I'm new to the candidacy. So I was hoping you could educate me on how to run for an election campaign. However, Well, I was planning on running myself, and I don't believe that I'm qualified to teach you. I've heard that you've been working harder than anyone these past 20 years. Well, I did have a lot of free time after I lost the election. Study is all an amateur can do. Amateur? You're a veteran, if anything. Besides, you have experience teaching him, right? Wait, what? Me? God damn, this shit's good! <clears throat> anyway, your reputation has greatly improved. Around the office, or the executive office recently. And my grandfather has expressed his intent on making peace with you now. Hmm. I'd be happy to bury the hatchet with Mr. Kuramoto, but I'm not worthy to rejoin his group. I thought you would find these conditions favorable. Oh, this shit's good. Whoever needs, to, needs their dick stuck out. What? what? Oh, oh, you didn't hear that. Uh, so I ask you to keep what I'm about to tell you a secret. You. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. Could you give us a moment? I'm a man, Cone. No, I'd like to hear your uh, from your favorite pupil to hear. Or I like it from your favorite hero to hear this too. Hmm. Wait a moment. Is your plan to evolve him so that I can't decline? I simply trust his discretion. The Kiramoto group is planning to move forward with a political realignment. Are you saying that you're going to uh, secede from the Liberal Co-Prosperity Party? With the government in a weakened state, now's our chance. As such, I want to emphasize our unity. I see. And so you've come to me, a former member of the Kiramoto children. But my views differ from those of the Kiramoto group, and I don't intend on changing them. I understand, however, you won't be able to put those beliefs into action if you don't get elected. I'm a Mia kun could you talk sense into him? You'll benefit as well. I can say whatever the hell I want because this moves, you know, on its own. I'll just say, uh, you should decline. Hmm. You think so too, hmm? <laughs> You're not intimidated, even by the grandson of a big time diet member. I appreciate your offer, but I must respectfully decline. So you're okay with being no good Tora forever? He's not no good Tora. I'm a Mia Kun. Looks like you chose to follow the uh, chose the wrong politician to follow. That's not for you to decide. Try to understand that he has his own beliefs. My apologies, I made a slip of the tongue. And in front of your secretary, no less. I don't need an answer right away. If you want to show deference to my grandfather, please let me know. I already took care of the bills, so enjoy. Now, if you'll excuse me. <sighs> What's the point in getting elected if you if it means sacrificing your beliefs? I bet when push comes to sh or came to shove, Kiramoto Kun intended to lure you in. He probably didn't expect me to remain so calm after he showed his trump card. I feel surprisingly at ease whenever you're with me, like that time with Matsushita. I apologize. I am truly indebted to you for all you've done for me, but I must ask that you continue to help me. Hey, no problem, dog. I appreciate it. You know, I've never sat here and looked at this nigga, bro. That son is an ugly ass motherfucker. Look at that. He got that freaky Fred ass smile, bro. Bro, you just roasted a son, bro. Listen, sometimes the sun is worthy of being roasted. That shit roasts us all the time, so it's only fair that we roast it back. It's only because we're blind. I don't have to take this. This part's over. We're ending the recording right now. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. You know, from the way he was acting, I'd swear Kiramoto kun was hiding something. Let's say we go home. Ah, my apologies. We're done eating, so let's go home. Also, if you were wondering if you've been hearing voices for anybody watching this part, my darling younger, younger sibling decided to sit here and watch uh, and watch our, the recording. So they've been adding in their input. So. <laughs> Why are you laughing now? 
because I can't say any slurs while I'm on. Well, 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 I'll see you again. That's not a good thing. Yes, it is, because now I have to filter it. No, 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 that you need a filter in general. That's not a good thing. Oh! Okay, so we get to read something. We're going to read... The Illusory Popus. Where the hell is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Mm -hmm. She found it in her heart. She just, ah, to show mercy to others. Mm. A legendary female Pope, huh? Do you think she really existed? You still got time to read. Let's keep going. Her sublime soul gave strength to the people. Is that nigga sleep standing up, bro? Oh. Yeah. All right, maybe the era of female pope. Pope Johanna. All right, Makoto. Mm hmm. Look at that. What? Nigga, all your stuff is maxed. It's New Game Plus. That's cheating, nigga. It's not cheating. It's just called playing the field. I don't know. It, it's it's fair. All right, whatever you say. You can call it cheating. Uh, is, is this vanilla? What? The gameplay. Is this vanilla or royal? It was royal. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's a fucking voice clip. It's already July, huh? I hate the rainy season, but when it ends, it's just hot. The humidity is what kills me about Cal- or I almost said California summers, because I see California down there. Japanese summers. I miss the dry heat of California. Not to mention- uh, she's talking about soybean Florida. Not to mention, July and August both have 31 days. Summer is long. Now then, Mr. Amamiya, what you need? Two people are responsible for July and August having 31 days. Do you know who those two people are? That would be Julius and Augustus. I knew that without even having the cheat. That's correct. I mean, they kind of tell you the answer in the name. It's July, Julius, and August. Augustus. And it's in the name. True. Great, that's right. You may already know this, but the name, or most of July and August are named after the Roman emperors. Julius and August. That's what I just said, Shawty. You didn't have to say that. Augustus named a month after himself, just like Julius. However, he felt like his or he would be losing if his month was shorter than Julius's, so he added a day. Oh, so the month names are literally a dick measuring contest. Got you. It's a mystery why men are so stubborn and prideful over silly little things. All right. Well, they're surprised that I did this or whatever. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean. Well, as far as you're all concerned, you're just lucky to get a long vacation. But before that, you have exams. They start next week on the 13th. Don't forget, okay? Now next Wednesday, huh? You better make sure you study. <laughs> study. Did you not just see that graphic that just popped up there, Morgana? That's cheating. That's not cheating. Yes, it is. <laughs> Anyways, today we're hanging out with... Oh, actually, we gotta go to the library first. That girl just said it was muggy. What would you like? Oh, here you go. I'd like to borrow a book. I would like to borrow The Great Thief. Hmm. Now, who are we... Yeah, here's where we're hanging out with. I'm watching people in Shibuya right now. I thought I just might get the creative juices flowing. I must say, though, I doubt I will be able to calm down until the results are made clear to us. For now, I plan to continue people watching in Shibuya. Let me know if you need anything. Yeah, let's go see you guy. It's not the church one. I don't think it is. Hmm. It better not be. All we have to do right now is... Wait, what a nerve-wracking time. Meanwhile, I am here to observe the public in an attempt to refresh my mind. Do you need something? I came to see you. <laughs> you must have a wealth of free time if that is your decision. Okay. Eligor! We have what the... Let's hang out with you, Sky. <laughs> All right, wait for me at LeBlanc. All right, cool, cool, cool. Please hear me out. Rin, this is the completed form of my draft earlier. I would like your honest opinion, if you would. It's... Enigmatic. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> As it should be. I do not paint for the sake of others' comprehension. 
Regardless, this is how I choose to interpret the idea of desire. Speaking of desire, Yusuke, I'm gonna need you to talk with Atlas about some shit, dog. Because every time that song Desire plays in one of my videos, it gets demon. Well, I mean, my stuff is demonetized anyway, because you know I don't I don't make much money off of it anyway. But every time that damn Desire song plays, I get struck for it. I'm tired of it. Indeed, it is the foul charm held deep within the abyss of the heart. To be honest. I believe my ability to capture desire so elegantly is all due to our mementos foray. I have grown to understand the intricacies of the heart in a way I had once thought possible or impossible. To tell the truth, Ren, I intend on submitting this piece to an upcoming public art ex exhibition. <laughs> Nobody has seen the abyss of the heart in such a raw manner before. The discourse will be fascinating. You, you, you dozing off? Yeah. More importantly. It shall be the spark that revitalizes my slumbering art career. I can't wait. Indeed, I expect you to accompany me for the... Oh, uh, the moment it is finally revealed to the general public. Hmm, I'm sure this will be a most sensational experience for those who opt to undergo it. A raw, unbridled look into the depths of the human psyche. And I was the one who was able to bring it to life, all thanks to your assistance. Thank you. You have my sincerest gratitude. Alright, that was easy. Rank 2. What do we get for this, Yusuke? We get nothing. All right. But he's rank 2 now. Hmm. I deeply anticipate the public reaction at the exhibition. But for now, I should be going. My apologies for disturbing you. See you. Farewell. Alright, that's nice. We see him off. I want to thank you again for earlier. Getting a raw, unfiltered opinion was invaluable. I was even able to come up with a new interpretation thanks to your help. I'm on a roll right now. Like butter, I am on a roll. I'm sorry for that terrible pun. I shall keep up this momentum and apply to the Phantom Thieves as well. You're already doing enough, bro. No, I can guide us to even further greatness. Huh. Your very presence amplifies my ambition. What a strange fellow you are. I can hardly wait to hear back about the public exhibition so I can share the joy with you. I will contact you again later. Expect good news. Well, we have one left, last thing to do before we uh, end this part off. In the last part, we got scammed, like I mentioned. So we're going to go confront that <clears throat> woman about that scam. Kaneshiro got rid of those photos, right? That's what he said. You think we can trust him? I doubt he'd lie if we really had a change of heart. Looks like we're all clear then. We can't be sure of that just yet. You mean he might not have had a change of heart? No, I'm relatively certain he did. That is not the issue. Despite Kaneshiro's change, his organization remains intact. I can only hope they don't abscond with the photographs. You mean like run off with it? I guess that is possible. After all, Loss of the leader does not necessarily spell out the demise of the group. That is merely common knowledge. But the opposite sometimes holds true as well. Some groups that lack a strong guiding hand will simply crumble. So this is this all depends on which way it goes. Well, I'll be fine. All we can do is now is pray the pieces fall in our favor. Hopefully Kanashiro's uh, confession motivates the police to crack down on the mafia. I would love nothing more than to see them defeated once and for all. That'll be up to Makoto's sis. That aside, we've done everything we can do for the time being. All that remains now is to wait until that result becomes clear. Anyways, let's go talk to that fortune teller about that damn uh, scheme, that scam that we got hit with. Hello, Mishima. How are you doing, dog? Hey, what's up with you? Let's ask Chihaya about the Holy Stone. Hmm? She's with the client. Sounds like they're talking about the Holy Stone. You want to eavesdrop on them? Hell yeah! Um. How are you healing? I'm fine. Uh, it's my fault anyway. Yuya said it so. Uh, he says he doesn't want to hit me, but I just make him so mad. Oh. We got a dom domestic abuse case here. Oh, well, I'm not going to make any jokes about that. That's, uh, of course not. 
I suggest you break up with him. Things are only going to get worse at this rate. It's not that simple, Jahaya. But I'm the only one that cares about him. If I leave, how will he survive? Here you go. That's run. That's one thing right there. See, that's, that's something. Stuff like that usually happens in these uh, these instances, unfortunately. Please, is there any other way? No. Let us ask the tarot. Oh, divine power, shed light upon her fate. Oh, what the fuck? Is this? Yes, I've seen everything. Hmm, I can sense a dark presence with your boyfriend. His heart seems to be possessed by a demon. This demon may hide away, or hide itself away at times, but when it strikes, it will bring with it great mis misery. Oh, what kind of misery? You will be hospitalized for several or for severe injuries suffered in a domestic abuse incident, and he will be arrested. Well, that sounds awful. What? Hospitalized? Uh, arrested? I knew I shouldn't have let you you throw away my holy stone. He said I shouldn't be wasting my money on some dumb rock. That I should be giving it to him instead. This is my punishment for letting him do that, right? Please let me buy another one from you. What? what? You want another? My next stone will need to be even bigger. I'm a little low on cash at the moment, but you said I can pay it up into 36 installments, right? 36 installments! Dang, you time for that. Um, truthfully, I feel breaking up with him would be the best. I can't abandon Yuya. Like I said, it's not that easy to escape a domestic abuse relationship. She really thinks her boyfriend will stop a being abusive as long as she has a holy stone? There's no way that could be true, right? It's just rock salt. Mm. Right. It would make our jobs way easier if you could really change someone's heart with the Holy Stone. It's clear that Shahaya has some fortune-telling skills, but that stone isn't going to do anything. Hey, Ren, why don't we change that Yuya guy's heart ourselves? I mean, he's hurting this woman here, right? This is the perfect chance for the families to save her. Hmm? hmm? Meowing? What? Hey! Were you eavesdropping on us? That's an invasion of privacy, you know. Ah, yes, the invasion of privacy. In public. Yeah. The only way you could possibly invade someone's privacy in public is in your business. There is another solution. There is not. I said it before, her, she has beautiful eyes. I will give her that. Like, her eye color is like... Not jarring. Jarring sounds like it's negative. But like, it kind of... It kind of captures you in a way. Is that like purple or is that brown? What would you say? Uh, what would you say? Yo. Yo. Um, is that like purple or brown? I think it's more purple. I think it's the same purple. Yeah. The demon within your boyfriend's heart cannot be exercised by normal human methodologies. Good thing I'm not using a normal human methodology. Okay. Fate is absolute. Although, I guess you won't, might be able to control the demon's temper if you bought another holy stone. Um, I'm not entirely sure who you are, but do you know of any other way I can approach? What is your boyfriend's name? Huh? His name is Yuya Uchimaru. Um, why do you want to know? What are you planning on doing? I'm gonna beat his ass. No, I tell you, I mean, I, I, I'm beating his brains ass. That sounds weird. Just know that I can, I can, I can punch somebody in order to help. Yes. What do you expect to change with that meager information? I'm going to change fate. Does Joker have gray eyes? Yeah. This man has three different eye colors. He has like sometimes his eyes are red, sometimes his eyes are yellow, sometimes his eyes are gray. Huh. What? You honestly believe you can do something? I... I trust you. Goodness gracious. Excuse me? No princess? It feels like he's telling the truth. Besides, Yuya has all my money. He's gonna pay me back someday. But for now, I would rather put my trust in this one boy than in 36 payments of 9.99 for a holy stone. What? You, what do you think you're doing? If you keep making false accusations like that, the divine power will rain punishment down upon you. 
I love me some drama, kid. Bring it on. You look so pleased with yourself. Hmm. I've seen everything. A vision of you groveling on the ground. Fate cannot be changed. And I will prove that fact to you. I'm just going to go ahead and say that she's romanceable. Which is kind of funny. You know, she's looking in the cards at my fate. It's going to be so funny that you couldn't look in them cards to see that I was about to be cheating on your ass with like 10 different girls. Yeah. If that woman stays with her abusive boyfriend, she will meet a horrible entry within a year's time. Now, if you honestly believe you can change her destiny, go ahead and try. But once you realize the error in your, your thinking, come back and let a true expert handle things. I will save her with the Holy Stone. That fucking voice clip, she's... What the fuck is that voice clip? Anyways, well then, are we done here? I'm way too busy for this. Request received, and we have the final request we need before we head into mementos. Which is what we're gonna do in the daytime. This humidity is overwhelming. Good morning, it's quite hot today. By the way, Kanashiro's deadline is this weekend, isn't it? His change of heart draws near. The Phantom Thieves will be even more renowned than before when this goes public. I can't wait. Indeed. I suppose it's not a bad feeling to have your efforts recognized. I bet we'll get more requests on that message board too. I think we should take care of all the cases we have now, while we still have the chance. Well, it's good that you talk about that, Yusuke, because that's exactly what the hell we're doing tonight. Well, the first thing that we're going to do before we end this part off is we're going to go to the Velvet Room. Hey, Alright, go ahead and kick me in. Yada! I'll just add this. I don't want to save yet, but what we're going to do, I'm going to go to my Personas. Who do we not need? Well, we need Emperor. I don't think we need a Gatheon anymore, because we're about to be rank max with Ryuji. So like, we don't need we don't need Jar Demon no more. Actually, before we do that... Yes. Let's register, everybody. Registration? Are you sure? Are you finished? What? <laughs> what? Okay. Let's get rid of Jar Demon. Now let's go tell we need a fortune persona. You'd like to read the compendium? These are the paths you have walked. I could get a really strong fortune one, but I'm not going to do that. Where's a hello, Clotho? Alright. There we go, we got our fortune persona. Oh, I gotta show you something. I gotta show you something. So you know how you just talk to them to leave, right? Uh -huh. You don't have to do this, watch this. No slacking off. Yeah, you can just walk out now. Yeah, you just walk backwards and do that. Yeah. Anyways! Uh, we need to go to the hideout. That's not the hideout, we need to go to the hideout. Because... You're all here. All right, so we're gonna just do view request. All right, so they're gonna talk about all the requests. If you wanna read all this, you can talk about it, or you can pause to read all this. Cause we got a bunch of requests coming up. So we're gonna hear a lot of, listen up, listen up. Listen up, again. We got like seven mementos requests coming up. So. What a jerk. <laughs> what a jerk. Listen up. All right, it's Kawakami's. Nice. Listen up. Okay, is this the cat person? Yeah. Yeah, this is the cat person. Listen up. An elderly man who's harassing people. Uh, oh, and Rainy days. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, let's 
Explore mementos! Yo! Seven targets, let's do this. Right. I'm gonna bust loose. I feel like busting loose. Busting loose. Anyways, we haven't been in memento since the first time we came in here. So we're gonna be kinda busy on that stream when it happens, of course. Wait, you guys, something doesn't seem right. Really? It seems the same to Yo, hold up, the NAS reacting to something. So we unlocked another place in Mementos here. A new area has been confirmed in the depths. Oh look, voice acting! What's this? It sounds like we can go further down now. It's because we made Madarame's palace disappear, right? We haven't been in here since before Madarame's palace! Most likely. I think. You think? You seem rather I uncertain. Again. His, I think, is basically the same as Ryuji saying, For real? How far does this mementos run, anyway? That's a good question. You don't know, do you? It's huge. Extremely. Extremely, huh? You're always so vague when it comes to the important stuff. It's like he's kind of flaky as our chief of operations. Don't you want him to try a bit harder, too? You know, I don't think... Because it's on my Madarame's palace. I don't think Makoto would have been here for this cutscene otherwise. Uh, he's doing his best. You truly are different from that moron over there. Oh god, damn! You didn't call him a moron. I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong, but. There, there. I don't fully understand, but mementos and the palaces are related to each other, correct? Then all we must do is continue changing the hearts of evil doers to ascertain its full expanse. I don't think this cutscene was meant to happen with Makoto in the party because she hasn't said a single thing here yet. I don't believe there's a need to quarrel over it. Anyways, we can end everything off uh, here. Uh, who's in our party? Oh, you gave me some go homes. Let's do this. Let's bring on in the party. I want you to replace Makoto. Thanks. Same with you, Yusuke. Uh, er, Ryuji. Joker. Huh? Yeah, over Yusuke. Yeah. All right, so we can save the game right here. And in the next one, um. Hmm. Yeah, in the next one, uh, it'll be the stream. I don't know when this part, what day of the week this actual one is going up on, but uh, the stream is going to happen sometime after that, of course. Uh, I got to get ready to charge my shit anyway because I got to do a bully stream on the day. This, this is recorded on Monday, uh, September the 13th. So tomorrow from this recording, I'll be doing a bully stream. So I hope to see you guys there if you're watching this uh, in the future. I hope you were there. I'm saying that retro uh, retroactively. But, um, yeah, I would like to thank everybody for watching. To my brothers and sisters and everybody else in between, I will catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.